All right, guys, uh, right now I'm going to be taking this uh, cluster apart, uh, cleaning it and painting the needles as well. Uh, and as you can see, I have it set up uh, on some t-shirt. Uh, you don't want to scratch this whole thing uh, or damage it. That's why you want some cushion or just put some cardboard underneath. So, um, all right, let's get to the business. guess so I'll be cleaning all this stuff right now making it nice um, and later on I'm gonna take care of those needles Very nice guys, clean all the dust from the inside, all the junk, it's gonna look great. Alright, I just finished cleaning this guy, alright, just all undusted, nice, and one thing I wanted to point out is it's a little melt, melted right there. Uh, some of you guys may know what that is. It's actually um, because of the halogen bulbs. So it would be a nice idea to put LED bulbs in here. So I might do that a little bit later on. For sure, that'd be a great idea to do. Now onto the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and start masking all this stuff off. And I'm gonna get ready to paint those needles. Because I like seeing them orange. That's how they came out from the factory. That's how they're supposed to be. Right now they're yellow because of the fadiness after all these 40, 30 years old. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make it nice again. All right, this is all masked off and uh, I have my paint right there. Just a regular paint from the office supplies. And I'm um, using the Q-tips, but um, I could actually recommend using like some kind of brush. But I'm going to use these today and see if how they work or if they work really good. Another thing is you're supposed to actually mask this off, you know, this uh, trim piece right here. So I'll do that as well, and then I'll go ahead and paint it. Here's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so some of these numbers are really dirty. So what I'm doing is moving them around and cleaning them with uh, Q-tips. Um, because I don't like how they look so dirty, some of them, uh, from all the dust and all these years. So you can see the difference between number three and number four. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So uh, four is really clean. I just cleaned it up and three is just really dirty. So that's my goal. That's what I'm trying to accomplish with all these numbers. Make them all clean. All right, everything is nicely cleaned up. All the numbers looks great. All right, guys, now since we uh, finished uh, refurbishing 
uh, pretty much the whole cluster and especially the speedometer and the needles and stuff and cleaning everything. Right now what I really want to do is, you see those gears inside, they're actually turning so uh, they need to be greased up. So we're going to be adding uh, tons of grease to those gears everywhere just so everything moves nice and smooth. Uh, this is where your speedometer cable um, actually connects to. Um, so yeah guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do that. Um, and there's another set right here that's already done with really beautiful gauges and all that stuff guys. So um, I'm gonna be putting everything back here shortly. Um, but first I'll put some grease on these uh, gears. All right. Go ahead and start adding all this grease to all these gears. It's really good stuff, guys. This will prevent these gears from breaking. All right. And this is what happens usually is these gears, they run dry. They mesh with each other dry and they end up stripping. All right. Grease will help with all this and will prevent the breakage. Now after adding a bunch of grease inside, what you're going to do is you're going to place some kind of squarish tool um, or a drill in there and you're going to be turning this. Okay, so when you're turning this, all the gears are spinning. All right, and they're gonna actually spread the grease and actually expose some of the other areas where you didn't add grease. So, as you can see, I have to add some more grease in there. All right, so we just added some more grease and then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna be turning this shaft all the way around. All right guys, the cluster is all done. Cleaned up nicely, everything lubricated, all the plastic gears and all the gauges painted. Looks amazing. All right guys, we're ready to take this 240D uh, for a test drive. I already cleaned a bunch of stuff up. Uh, this is basically temporary stuff. Uh, this is gonna look like that because we still have to weld the floors, but. I organized everything else and I fixed the glove box because it was messed up. So right now it opens and closes really nicely and it's aligned. Um, and uh, that seat is going to be getting replaced. Uh, a bunch of stuff was done guys. Um, and I also organized the trunk a little bit. Okay, we actually have this uh, spare tire that actually is brand new. It came with the car when I bought it. It still has the factory, uh, you know, paint lines right there. It's really nice. Um, and uh, what else I was going to show you? Yeah, that's the right here, everything. And I kind of uh, uh, reinstalled the center console a little bit but this is going to be coming out either way that's why not everything is in place but also one more thing these are the gauges as you guys remember these are uh this is the cluster that I actually uh had out and i was restoring it cleaning it and uh, take a note how beautiful these numbers are uh, it's actually all cleaned up and everything i'm just happy this car's coming back to life um and also I reinstalled this uh, bu bumper uh, strip right there, so that looks really good. I just need to wash this car and slowly, slowly but surely this car is coming back. Guys, we're going to the gas station right now. Fill this baby up. She's pretty much back on the road. I love this thing so much. She needs to fix some blemishes here and there. She's gonna be great. Oh 
Oh my god, the wheel is off, bro. Okay. Somewhere. Definitely didn't put it back the right way. Something will fix, dude. Next time, if you can, just ask me if you're not sure about something, though, okay? Just look up the procedures. Oh, we'll be fine. Man, the turn, the straight, the turn signal thing doesn't come back even. Oh my God! It doesn't get canceled out. Everybody's watching. <laughs> I love it. Pay attention to people behind you, just do your thing, no rush. Wow, that was smooth. Very nice. I'm so happy we replaced all those parts. Yeah. It's great now. Alright guys, we just test drove this thing. It's doing great. Filling it up with diesel no biodiesel uh, BS just a regular diesel